Are you looking for gift ideas for the hiker in your life that already has everything? In today's Backpacking Food Basics episode, I have an inexpensive DIY gift idea that might just be what you're looking for. Hi, my name is Erin Owens Mayhew, and I'm an ultralight long distance backpacking dietitian and the owner and founder of backcountryfoodie.com. And if you'd like to learn more about my trail cred, my nutrition background, or more about Backcountry Foodie, you can find that information in the description below. So what is this DIY gift idea for the hiker that has everything? How about dehydrated or freeze dried food that you made yourself? Now wait just a minute, don't fast forward to the next video just yet. If you're somebody that's never really dehydrated food, hear me out on this one. I know it might sound a little odd, but you can get really creative with this DIY gift idea. And if I were on the receiving end of food that I didn't have to dry or buy myself, I would be super stoked. Dehydrated or freeze dried food is also shelf stable for several years if it is stored properly. So the hiker in your life would have plenty of time to enjoy your gift. And for the health conscious hiker that's looking for an alternative to ramen noodles, maybe pre-cook or dehydrate pasta as a gift. It's easy to make, can be prepared in large batches, and only cost a few bucks. Now you might be asking why pre-cook and dehydrate pasta when it can be cooked on trail? You're absolutely right, it can be prepared in camp, but pre-cooking and dehydrating pasta significantly reduces the amount of stove fuel required to prepare it. And when using pre-cooked and dehydrated pasta, you only need to bring the water to a rolling boil and then add the hot water to the bag or container. The pasta rehydrates in the bag for five to 10 minutes without needing that additional stove fuel to continue cooking it in the same time period. Using an insulated food cozy can also speed up the rehydration process significantly. And pre-cooked and dehydrated pasta also cold soaks really well. However, be aware that uncooked pasta will not rehydrate in cold water. So if the receiver of your gift prefers to leave their stove at home, pre-cooked pasta could be the perfect DIY gift. And for today's video, I'm going to focus on how to pre-cook and dehydrate pasta, just in case you've never done that. And I'll create more videos about how to dehydrate freeze-dried fruit, vegetables, and a variety of other foods for DIY backpacking meals in the future. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you know when those videos do go live. And if you've never pre-cooked and dehydrated pasta, it's super simple. In my experience, the key to perfect backpacking pasta is to undercook it by two to three minutes. Quickly drain and rinse it with cold water to stop the cooking process. Evenly spread the pasta onto dehydrator trays and dehydrate it at 135 degrees Fahrenheit or 57 degrees Celsius until it's completely dry. And once dry, the pasta will be shelf stable for one to two years if stored in an airtight container, like these mason jars that I vacuum sealed here. And if the receiver of your gift will use the pasta within a year, there's no need to purchase that airtight container. Something like this jar I purchased at the dollar store will work just fine. And if the hiker you're preparing the gift for is environmentally conscious, maybe recycle glass doors or plastic containers you already have at home. And if you'd like to dress up the containers a little bit, maybe purchase an expensive ribbon at the discount store or recycle ribbon or even rope you already have at home. And to give you an idea of the total cost and yield of the gift, I purchased this box of rotini for a dollar, which prepares six and a half cups of dehydrated pasta. And our recipes typically use one cup of pasta per serving. And again, I purchased these two jars at the dollar store for a dollar each, with each jar holding about three cups of dehydrated pasta. The 32 ounce mason jars typically run closer to $3.50. And I also purchased the spool of ribbon for a dollar that has just enough ribbon for six regular mouth jars or three wide mouth jars. So I spent a total of $4 on supplies and only 57 cents on electricity to run my dehydrator. And I suppose my time is money, but if you plan ahead and can make dehydrated pasta at the same time you're making dinner at home, so for just under five bucks, you can give the gift of six servings of pasta that the hiker in your life will appreciate during their upcoming adventures. And I'm currently filming this video during the Christmas holiday season, but this DIY gift could be perfect for the through hiker or a Valentine's Day gift instead of flowers or chocolate, or even a wedding gift for the couple going on a backpacking trip for their honeymoon. And I might be a little biased, but I truly think DIY pre-cooked and dehydrated pasta could be a super cool gift. 
And if you or the hiker you're giving the gift to are looking for pasta recipes, we currently have over 30 recipes to choose from inside of our Ultralight Recipes membership site. And I've linked my favorite sun-dried tomato pesto pasta recipe in the description below. And you can also find a coupon code for our membership site there as well that's just for our YouTube subscribers. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and it helps solve your gift giving dilemma and the hiker in your life loves that pre-cooked and dehydrated pasta you made. So until next time, happy trails.